Buenas and alpha day everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna do a chit chat, get ready with me. And you're gonna see me go from this to this. So yeah, I thought we'd just do a chit chat, get ready with me because it's my birthday and I'm so excited. I am 25, the big two five. And yeah, I thought we'd do a chit chat, get ready with me because I've never done one on my channel and why not, right? So first things first, what we do is, and I'm sorry if this angle is kind of crazy, but my tripod is not like long enough, so you you would literally be looking at my neck, and I don't think you want to do that. So first things first, putting on aquaphor on my lips, girl. If you don't know, now you know aquaphor or Vaseline. It is the most moisturizing thing you can put on your body. Um, I literally love it. I used it for my son for his eczema, um, and then I realized that you could use it on yourself. And right now it's so dry, it's so cold, and yeah, so that's what we're using. Um, right now I just put this on my face. You can see it. It's the Versed Skincare. It's just a brightening solution. I use this in the morning just because I feel like it's very light and I don't like putting too much on my face in the morning. You know what I mean? And then I'm putting on the Ola Henriksen, Ola Henriksen, whatever, um, his Truth Serum. So I was using the Desi Her Vitamin C. And I did really like it. Um, it's just that I ran out and I needed one right away. And I was at Sephora. And I've used this one before. And I know it works with my skin. So, I have very sensitive dry skin. So that's what works, right? Okay, I'm sorry. We might have to move you over here. Because... Do you like this angle? Is it kind of weird? Yeah, whatever, right? Um... Just because, oh, where was I going with that? I don't know, never mind, moving on. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows, and what I use is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. I go back and forth between this one and the NYX Brow Definer or something like that. Um, I like both of them, I really do. And I think if you can get an affordable brow pencil, an expensive one is not necessary unless that's all you use, right? Then that makes sense. But I am just going to do my, and what I do with this is I literally just outline my brows. I don't use this to fill in just because I feel like for me personally, right? I just said I have sensitive dry skin. But for me, especially when I was back home in Guam, I feel like my eyebrows were the oiliest part of my face. So if I was to just use this, it's very um, slippery, you know? And I don't want my eyebrows to slip and slide. So what I do is I go in with the pencil first. Like I said, I'm not too picky on it. Um, but of course, these are just the two that I use because I've been using them forever. Oh, and in case you're interested, I am in the color medium brow. I prefer a lighter brow. Because I feel like every time I've gone to Sephora or Ulta, they give me like dark brow. And I feel like it's just, I don't, the dark brow is just not for me, girly, you know? So, so there we go. I've just kind of lined my brows. Yes, I know they look kind of different, okay? Girly, they're cousins, not, they're not twins. They're sisters, not twins. And then what I do is I take this brow. We're not gonna talk about the end, okay? She's missing. But then I take the Anastasia Brow Powder. Again, I don't think... Oh, and this is in dark brown. So this is what I use in dark brown just because it offers two different colors. As you can see, mine is well loved. Um, but I like it because I'm the type of person where what I'll do is I'll try and show you guys. Let me see if I can zoom you guys. Hello? Hello? So I'm the type of person where I like the end of my brow to be dark. So I'll take this darker color, darker shape right here. And I'll put it 
on the outer part of my brow. So where the tail is, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm sorry, I'm not a makeup guru, okay? I'm not a makeup guru. Um, but I'll put it on the outer part of my brow. And like I said, because I was so oily in the brow area, I feel like brow powder, it just looks so natural. And if, if you are oily, of course it's a powder. So it's gonna suck up all your oils, right? And then I'll take the lighter color and I'll blend that in between the two. And then I'll just kind of feather it to the front. Also trying to blend out that line that I made earlier. And that. And then I'll just spoolie out the front to kind of like feather it to make it look natural. And there you go. And that's it. So I'm gonna do my other brow and we'll be back. Sorry, I feel like I was looking a little crazy there. So, I don't know, I'm just lighting. It's kind of trash, I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? We're gonna make it work. This is my bathroom, girl. This is this is reality. So, or maybe, oh yeah, no, it's not gonna work. So, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to, what am I gonna do? Let's do our concealer now. And so because I am dry, I use majority liquid and then I'll set with powder and that's like pretty much it. I don't feel like putting on foundation today because it's, I just don't, it's my birthday. I don't feel like doing a full face. I just feel like doing a half face, you know what I mean? So, what I'm going in with is the NARS Creamy Concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer in Biscuit. And because it's winter, this is literally my light shade. And because it's winter, it's too dark. Like, oh my God, I'm really lightening up and it's just not the vibe, you know? Sorry, I keep looking over there. My big mirror is over there and I feel like when I have this small mirror in front of me, I'm really like blocking you guys. So you can't really see what I'm doing. But anyways, I put that on. And while that's sitting, you want your concealer to sit because that's how you get the most coverage. Then I'm going in with the Makeup by Mario um, Soft Sculpt Shaving Stick in Medium Dark. Right, and so I said earlier, it is my birthday today. I am 25. And honestly, I don't know how to feel. I was literally just talking to my friend about this yesterday that she was like, do you feel like it's your birthday? Because in Guam, my birthday was yesterday. Um, so everyone was wishing me happy birthday, but I didn't feel like it was my birthday because technically my birthday is today, right? Because Guam's a day ahead. And so I just felt like kind of, I don't know, it feels kind of weird. And also like I was telling my Nina that it, I'm just, I feel like this is going to be a really emotional, oh, I forgot sunscreen. Oh, it's okay. But this is the one I use. I use the Glow, Glow Screen Sunscreen. This is a sample I got for my birthday, I think. Uh, or was it just like a free sample? I forgot from Sephora. But I really like it. They had so they have so many sunscreens, and to be honest, I just when I see so many products, I get really overwhelmed really quickly. Um, so I just never got it, and yeah, I finally got it. A sample and I really love it and I was actually what I was saying I was like I don't know I just feel I was telling my Nina that this is just I feel like a, going to be an emotional um, like December for me an emotional holiday season for me just because this is the first year that I won't be home for Christmas and you know Christmas is my favorite holiday um, we're gonna be out here because it's expensive to travel back home to Guam you know, for the three of us. And, you know, we're just not financially there, which is okay, you know? It's okay. Um, and I know one day we'll go back, but that's just, it's not our year this year. And also back to my birthday, like I'm 25, you know? And obviously that that is really young, you know? But at the same time, I just feel, I don't know, I feel old. I know, people are probably gonna laugh at that. Like, girl, you're only 25. No, no, you have your whole life ahead of you. I know, I truly know that. But I feel like ever since becoming a mom, becoming a parent, 
um you know like it really just matures you so fast and i feel like i'm more excited for my son's birthday than i am for my own um i don't know let me know if you mommies feel like that because that's how i feel and so right now what i'm doing i went in with this little this brush I, oh hello i got this brush from ColourPop. um i don't know what it's called it's like a Let's see if you guys can see that. Hello. Hello. So the brush is like uh, tapered. There you go. That's a better angle. It's tapered. And I use this for my concealer to pat in my concealer. Um, just because I feel like... I don't know. I'm not really a beauty blender girl anymore. I feel like brushes just do the job so much better. I feel like a beauty blender is kind of, it's good at the end of your makeup application. Like when everything's on and you kind of just want that seamless finish, then I use that. But in terms of coverage, I use brushes. I feel like they do so much better. Um, But yeah, I just feel like, I don't know. I don't feel as excited for my birthday. But thankfully, I have a husband who's so sweet, who's so thoughtful and loving, and you know, I'm very thankful for him. So, like, for example, this is why. So, my son is sick. Um, we believe that he's teething, and so he literally just got sick out of nowhere. Um, he is not, he doesn't go to daycare, or he hasn't gone to daycare because his, uh, the daycare person, the sitter, she was sick and he did not come in contact with her. She had let me know before her daughter was sick that she wasn't gonna be able to watch Liam, which I really appreciated because obviously you don't want your child getting sick from the irresponsibility of others who send their kids to daycare. So, oh, and I'm just going over it with the e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush. This is like a dupe for the um, it Cosmetics brush. It looks similar to this, but it's like a, I guess like a flat kabuki brush. And yeah, I, it's so good. It's, it's like less than $5, I think. I think. I don't really remember, but I got that brush a while ago and it's held up so well. In comparison to my Morphe brushes, I feel like a lot of the brushes are starting to fall apart. Um, now I'm going in with the Rare Beauty blush in Hope. Oh my god, for the longest time, I was using Love, right? Because if you're a brown skin girl, if you're a brown skin girl, okay, let's, let's talk as brown girls. If you're a brown skin girl, you think that these light pinky peachy shades are going to be way too light on me, right? Because that's what I thought for the longest time. So I grabbed that blush and I liked it, but I didn't love it. I felt like... It was pretty, it's very warm. Obviously it's very red. It's more, it has a red undertone. And I was looking for something a little more natural, but the thing with liquid blushes is that, one, they're liquid. So when you cover them with a the powder, it, ver it, um, it softens the color. But I just, it wasn't giving me that natural look that I really, really like, right? So that's more of my style. I definitely like coverage, but I like that soft, natural finish, I guess you'd say. So, in case anybody's wondering, I am an NC42, I think. I may be an NC40 right now, um, just considering the winter. But, but yeah, that's where I'm at. And where are we gonna do now? So I'm going in with the Huda Beauty powder in banana bread um i do like this powder i just feel like it smells like an old lady to be honest it smells like an old lady and the brush i'm going to use is the brush by the nazanin kavari um set i love her brushes her brushes were so good um like her set i use pretty much at least one brush from her collection every single day And honestly, with influencers, I feel like nowadays I'm very, very picky with who I support. Just because 
I've been bamboozled by influencers. I'm gonna say it. Like I really liked some influencers. I, you know, you trust their opinion and you follow them and you support them in the things they create, and then you end up getting screwed, which I think is really rude because it's like you you paying with your own money for things and. You know, we don't make the same amount of money that influencers do. So when you spend and you support them, you, you expect good quality products. So for me, I guess I'm just more like, I guess scared nowadays to support influencers who I don't trust. Like, not that I don't trust, but just, I'm just scared to support influencers in general because I just don't know if I can trust their judgment anymore. And that's on period, girly. Like, you don't want to waste your money. You don't want to waste your money. And that's what it comes down to. You know? What else can we talk about today? Oh, my son was sick. So my son was sick. Sorry, girl. This, this, <laughs> to take already with me is going to be everywhere because this is truly how my mind works. I have literally a thousand things going at one time. I'm going in with the NARS Laguna Bronzer. Um... He was sick, right? And I was afraid to take him out because it is winter, it's very cold. I'm not sure how windy it is today, but it's pretty windy. And yeah, I just, for those of you that don't know, my husband and I do share a bank account. So I see, I'm pretty much the one that handles the finances. So if he was to make a purchase, I would have known already. It, like, you know, there wouldn't have been a surprise. But this morning, I guess he got let go of work. And um, so he ran to Walmart and he got me this like foot spa thing um, because I told him that I wanted to start doing my pedicures at home. So he ran to Walmart while we were sleeping. Me and my son were knocked out because like I said, he's sick. So he was up for like three to five in the morning. I was so exhausted. And, oh my God, I put my brows away, I'm not done. And so he ran to Walmart and got me the foot spa. He got me Christmas socks because he knows I literally love Christmas socks. Amber, Amber, if you're watching this, you already know. We are like the Christmas socks girls. Um, and so he got me these Christmas socks, which I thought was so cute. So, and he got me a pack of batteries because I keep telling him I need batteries. And every time I go to the store, tell me why I always forget the batteries. Like, it's just not something that's on my mind. And so I was laying down in the room. He came home. He took my son out from the room because my son was awake. And he comes in holding it with this candle. And I'm like, what kind of candle is that? Cause you know, we just have like the skinny black candles. And what is that, right? And I just start cracking up because it's um, three little cupcakes that, and that's the candle. So that was good, that one's good. He really got me, he surprised me. And it's crazy because last night I was literally just thinking to myself, you know, I'm gonna have to accept that today. Yes, it is my birthday, but my son comes first. And if he is not feeling good, then we're not gonna be able to go out and my husband's not gonna be able to buy me a gift. And, you know, I think in retrospect, that's, gifts are not what's important on your birthday, right? It's, it's about spending time with people, but I'm the type of person where I feel like it's thoughtful. I, I enjoy people who are thoughtful and if that can be through a gift, then you know, then that's what I'm expecting. But I had to accept that I was not I was probably not going to be able to get a gift. And I was kind of sad about that, not gonna lie. And then he comes in this morning with that and I literally, I just start busting out cracking up because I was really like, dang, my husband got me. He got me. Like, I was shook. I was very surprised. <sighs> he did a very good job. And then he leaves, right? So I'm like, okay, surprise done, right? Surprise over, okay. So sweet, my husband's so sweet. And then he comes back in with a different candle. <laughs> and he 
coming in with Dutch Bros coffee and oh my god, I am literally obsessed with Dutch Bros. The only thing is that it's not near us, it's far. Or well, I should say farther. Because Walmart is like on the outskirts of our town. But he went to Walmart anyway, so he went and got Dutch Bros after. And it was like perfect because I really needed coffee. Because like I said, my son was up so freaking early. I definitely feel like adding glitter today. There's a little, mm -mm, you know, a little, mm -mm. but yeah, as you can see, I just added some brown. This is the Makeup by Mario palette. Love it. It's so great. The neutrals are literally chef's kiss, especially for us brown girls. I'm telling you, it's so hard to find good, good anything for brown girls. I feel like today is so much better than when it started. Because when I remember when I first started getting into makeup, it was like, what, 2014? And I was watching this light-skinned girl on, on YouTube, right? YouTube was just starting out. And obviously, girl, I'm not light-skinned. I'm, she, she a brown-skinned girl, you know? So, she recommended the Urban Decay palette. I forgot which one. It was like the neutral palette. And, girl... Mm-mm, mm-mm. I bought that, bad decision. Bad decision, girly. And so, ooh, she is pigmented. Now I'm going with the Elsie and Alondra BFF palette. I'm just taking a little brush and taking OOTD on, me, on my outer corner. And so, I got that Urban Decay palette. It was the first palette I ever bought. And it was horrendous. And not, well, of course, back then, Urban Decay's quality was just, it was not nothing compared to what we have today. But the color scheme was just not meant for me, you know? It was meant for her. Because the colors did not show up. They looked super muddy on their skin. Because I'm a brown skin girl, you know? So, it's not really But I feel like there's just so many options today and a lot more tutorials of other brown girls who you can learn from, you know? Oh my God, gorgeous, I love it. So I am going just a tad bit more dramatic today. It's my birthday, duh. I'm thinking, hmm, should I go for a straight gold? No, I'm not feeling that blessed. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going for, to be honest. This is like what I've swatched on my arm. I don't know if you can see. That's very gold. Hmm. I don't know. I should I just go for... Uh, okay, okay, okay. I think I've decided. I will go for... I can't tell which is, oh, this is glitter. I'm gonna go for a matte on the inner corner and then I'll add a little pop of glitter just in the center of the eyeball. <laughs> Me, whenever I'm doing my makeup, <laughs> okay. Everywhere, back to what I was saying, my husband, he's just so thoughtful, so sweet. And I really underestimated him. Period. Really underestimated him. <laughs> but, um, my son is doing a lot better. We gave him a, we put the humidifier on for him last night. Put the humidifier on for him last night when my husband went to Walmart. He got like these um, natural cough, like not cough drops, but like a cough spray. I don't know if you can see, girl. Honestly, like I said, I'm not a booty guru, okay? I'm not a booty guru. Period. So, yeah, so today I told my husband right in the event before my son was sick, I was like, all I want to do is I want to go to Michael's, I want to go to Home Goods, and I want to go to Hobby Lobby because I really want to finish Christmas decorating the house. Um, but of course, like I said, because my son was sick, I had to accept that we may not go today, which is okay, you know? Like I said, always putting my baby first because he's my baby.
Um, so that's probably what we're gonna do today. Um, because he is doing so much better than I think, as long as we keep the Vicks off. Sorry, I was like, I'm full girl. I feel like, because obviously I'm a Sagittarius, shout out to all my Sagittarius babies out there. Um, you know, it comes to the end of the year, that's when my birthday is. I feel like it's such a great time to reflect on your life and, you know, what has happened in the past year. Because for me, I find it's very easy to fall to comparison. Very easy to be like, oh, so-and-so's doing this, so-and-so's doing that, what am I doing? You know? Um, but I feel like it's so beneficial to reflect on what you've done in your past year and um, everything that you've done, right? And so I was thinking to myself, like, what have I done? And I've done so, so much, you know? I graduated from uh, my grad program, um, so I have my master's in Pacific Island Studies, woohoo, shout out to all my CPIS, um brothers and sisters, and what else have I done? I moved, moved literally across the, the world, <laughs> I moved across the world, I traveled so much, I went to Hawaii, I went to here in the States, went back home, I went to Seattle, uh, so many traveling opportunities, by the grace of God and by the grace of my family, um, I'm so thankful for. Um, what else? Celebrated my baby boy's first birthday. Celebrated my husband's birthday. And, you know, we weren't together last year, so we haven't spent a birthday, you know, we haven't spent our birthdays with each other for over two years, which is a long time. LDR relationships, you already know. Um, so, it's so nice, right, to spend it with my husband, but at the same time, I miss my family so much. So, it's truly a give or take. We're going dramatic today, then. And... So that's really nice. Um, I also did, we lost a loved one today. I mean, today, hello. We lost a loved one this year. You know, my party, Justin. Um, God rest his soul. We lost him, which and that was really hard. Um, that's why I went home. And I think it came at a perfect time because I was getting super homesick. I was literally like crying because I just missed home. I missed my family. Um, and it's hard, you know, when that's all you've ever known and you you know you you're living somewhere else that, that's really hard for me because i'm really close to my family um so it was it came at a perfect time and i miss my party so much i think of him almost every day and yeah so that you know that was something hard that happened this year um but yeah, it's just, I feel like also so much to be grateful for, you know? We picked up our car from Seattle. Um, having your own form of transportation, it's so beneficial, especially out here in the States where you kind of need it, you know? Um, so, so thankful for that. Reconnected with my first cousin, Chris, because he was out, he was stationed where we're at now. Just so much, you know, so much can happen in a year and I think it's so crucial, it's so beneficial to really reflect on it because we tend to forget. We tend to focus on our hardships and forget about all the good things that have happened for us, right? So I think it's so beneficial, especially if the year comes to a close and everyone's making new goals. I think it's, you should always reflect and look back on what has happened, what are you thankful for? What, do you, what has helped you grow and how do you want to continue to grow? It's so important. Ah, ah, oh no. Oh no. What happened? Oh, that's the worst, honestly. Okay, okay. <laughs> when I don't wear, I don't wear lashes every day. You know what I mean? Because obviously I'm at home, so there's like no use. No like point wearing lashes every day. So when I put them on, I feel like, oh my god, I'm like going through something, you know what I mean? It's like I forget how to put on lashes. And my eyes are now. out. 
It's just so horrendous. Like, I don't. That's like the worst. If you know, you know. All right, lashes are on and they are dramatic, girly. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna go finish getting ready now. What is wrong? Something is wrong with this eyelash, girl. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I just need to get used to it and then I forget. And then I forget. But I'm gonna go finish getting ready and so we'll be back for the final reveal. So this is the finished look everyone. I literally just blow dry my hair as you saw with my Revlon blur dry brush. Yeah, now I'm gonna go get ready for the day and I'll see you guys then. Bye.